Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. In today's video, some of you have watched the unearthed uh, preview video for this year's first Lego League theme. And I've had some of you say, hey, Mr. Hino, what can I do to kind of help out my team? I actually was watching through the robot game video and I saw that there was a place to pick up you know, one of those things where in most robot games, there's something to either drop off or pick up that has either this tubing or that even skinnier tubing, you know, that that like stringy tubing. So today what I want to do is show you on your robot, how can you pick up things like this and how can you increase the odds that your team picks this up and gets the points because in first Lego League and the robot game, you're always looking to be more consistent and get better odds when you're trying to pick things up or, you know, any mission. So today, that's going to be the goal. Okay, so for today's video, I have built the Riley Rover. I have, um, I will leave you the um, link for the instructions. If you guys want to build the Riley Rover, um, would I use the Riley Rover in a first Lego League competition? Mm, probably not. Um, but if some of you are just starting off, like you have a really rookie team, it's, you know, it, it could do the trick. Um, but I modified it so that way I can show you how would you be able to pick up some tubing like this. And what to, uh, we want to do today is also how do we increase the odds that you can pick up something like this instead of failing. So let's go to the attachment and the mission. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the attachment that I have right here. So this is just a regular medium motor uh, attachment. In the Riley Rover instructions, it shows you how to do this uh, attachment. And so what I want to do is, when I want to pick up that tubing, I want to pick it up with the smallest possible attachment, which means I don't want to use a beam, because if you look at the size, this axle is skinnier than this beam is. I don't want to end up hitting the tubing. I want it to get caught up on these axles. Now you might ask, why do I have four of them? So I can increase my chances of hooking that tubing. If I only have one, now I have to be perfect on this one. But if I have four and my robot somehow goes off, now I'm giving myself better percentages of getting it. And so, Ms. Tino, could you even have put more? I could have, but then you run the risk of, let's say you had another axle here. Now you have a chance now of hitting the tubing instead of giving it latched on. So here's going to be my program. I want my program to go forward. I will have my robot go to the right, pick up that tubing, and then just come back like I was bringing it, bringing it back to base. Let me show you how often I can get this tubing back. Okay, I know someone's gonna ask, so I'm gonna give you my program here. There's my forward. I only do 30% because I just like to keep it slow so I can see where the robot's going. I like to do single motor turns. I know some of you do a two motor turn. I just do a single motor turn. The perfect turn is 450 degrees, but I guess you already knew that. I'm gonna go forward 900. There's my medium motor to pick up the tubing. And then everything is just backwards in the negatives to come back home. And then I'm going to actually have the medium motor drop the tubing right in front of the robot. So let's check that out. Okay, the robot is ready. I'm going to be doing this 10 times. I'll go ahead and speed this up so you're not like, oh boy. And then we'll see how many times out of 10 I can get this tubing back to base. So here we go.
Okay guys, so that is how you pick up tubings like this in first Lego League robot game competitions. 10 out of 10. Hey, Miss Gina, you did some editing, didn't you? I did. There was one time where I forgot to put this like at the right distance, but I did not do any editing like missing this tubing. I got it 10 out of 10 times. So the one thing you need to be careful about is when you do this motor, make sure it goes slow enough because we have before like flung it and it goes over the robot and you basically messed up your mission. So make sure it goes slow enough that you don't flip the tubing up, that you can actually just grab it. Um, but that's what you're looking for, guys. Consistency. 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10 would have been, I would have been happy with that. But you have to just be careful. You know, you have to do these modifications because you never know because everybody always complains. The robot always veers to the left or to the right. So to make up for that, you know, unpredictableness, you give yourself, you know, some, I don't know what you call it. You just give yourself some leeway. So if the robot does veer off, you have some backup. You have some insurance to help out your robot. So you guys get those points and don't lose the points and end up going, now what do we do? Because again, in first Lego League, you only get those three rounds. So you want to make sure you make the use of all those rounds and get those points. So hopefully today was helpful for your robot. For those of you that are thinking ahead, because according to the video, there will be a mission in this year's Unearth where you're picking up something with, you know, not necessarily this tubing, but something skinnier, but you'll have to retrieve it to get the points. So hopefully that was helpful, you guys, and good luck to you this season on Unearth. Hopefully my, you know, I can uh, put a team together so we can compete, get those mission models so I can make more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out.